the NRM manifesto is not like a classroom exercise. It is a social contract between the party and the people. The social contract means we marketed our manifesto, we gave it to a government, and the government is helping us implement. You also need to understand the composition of government. <laughs> government is composed of people who are NRM and those who don't necessarily belong to NRM by constitution. These are the civil servants. And even there are those who are elected and they are not necessarily NRM, just for checks and balances. So in view of this, I would say our manifesto was divided into three areas. The first phase of the manifesto was for us to understand the history of Uganda, the pre-colonial history of Uganda, the colonial history of Uganda, and the post-colonial history of Uganda, and how this history has affected our economy, because that is a very big issue for us to understand. And when we got independent from 1962 up to 1986, that NRM government came, what was the state of the economy of Uganda? Uganda was a failed state. So NRM picked Uganda from 1986 when Uganda was in total ruin, in total chaos, and started building structures, manpower, gaining investors' confidence. And so it took quite a number of time to stabilize the Uganda we are in now. By that time, the population was just about 14 million. Now the population is about 45 million. By that time, the energy generation was only about 180 megawatts. Now we are at 2,800 megawatts. By that, so there are variables we can go through. Now, as to asking how far have we gone, definitely when you look at the GDP of the country now under NRM, last, this year there was a debate that have we reached a middle income status or we have not yet reached middle income status. That debate was already good enough. It was an indicator that NRM is between the boundary of a middle income status, Uganda rather, is between the boundary of a middle income status and almost getting there. So it, it was a positive plus. And then we see the way businesses are coming into the country, the number of investments that have come in the country, the infrastructure development, the social programs that we have. I believe these are running on so well, and I'm sure you also know that these are run because these are the items we have put in our manifesto. We talked of extension of electricity to all the administrative centers and districts of Uganda. We have achieved that. We talked of connecting all the districts to the national grid, we have done that. We talked of building a national and regional referral hospitals, we are doing that. We talked of building schools for parish, for sub-county, and technical schools for constituencies, we are doing that. We talked of expanding uh, uh, water for production in the rural areas through irrigation and all that, we are doing that. So everything we promised is going on very well. We talked of parish development model when we were coming in this, this Sanja. I'm sure you have seen it has started. Money has been rolled out to the parishes and every parish will be getting 100 million per, 100 million per, per year. So all these are indicators that we are moving in the right direction. So, And we have just been in office for like about a year. How much more shall we cover when we finish this term? And would anyone stand to contest against NRM if we continue doing the right thing? So the answer is yes, we are progressing well and we are achieving most of the things we have pledged to the public.